Arirang TV has been looking for ways to use the metaverse AI and XR technology to the fullest. The station held a demonstration in Seoul to show how much progress has been made. Shin Yeon reports. Arirang TV has been fueling its R&D to the max. In other words, it's been investing in the metaverse, AI, and extended reality technology. In a demonstration held Friday, Arirang showed just how much technological progress that's been made in the space of just a year. Like an AI prompter, Arirang is the first broadcaster in Korea to have developed a prompter that recognizes the anchor's voice and scrolls down by itself. Another AI invention to be used in the newsroom is an AI anchor. AI Jennifer will be able to cover news during the weekend or when there's breaking news instead of actual anchors who may not be available at the time. An AI voice secretary will also be available to do voiceovers instead of reporters busy out on site. Arirang has also been using a smart life studio that boasts extended reality technology. This gives producers the chance to create their own virtual studio. It also helps the environment because compared to actual studios that use halogen lights, these XR studios save up to 70 percent of electricity. It's also aiming to work with more small and middle-sized enterprises and local governments through the metaverse. Arirang will be showing some of South Korea's iconic sites and hosting joint events using the metaverse. The head researcher said Friday's demonstration was a glimpse into Arirang's directive to become a digitally innovative broadcaster. We realize the best way to do so is by using the latest tech like the metaverse, AI and XR. We think AI can especially help produce repetitive, time-consuming work and better boost efficiency. Arirang TV has been working with 15 small and middle-sized enterprises to change how it produces news and other media content. Developments revealed Friday will be actively used starting early as the beginning of next year. Shin Yun, Arirang News.